Homegrown Hunter TV is brought to you by Rackstacker, Canada's leader in big game attractants. Campbellford Chrysler, a small town dealer with a huge inventory. And Huckabones Equipment, Ottawa Valley's Kubota dealer. Altan Outdoor Solutions, Badlands Packs and Apparel, Bishop Lake Outdoors, Spy Point Trail Cameras, Nature of Design Signs and Graphics, and the original portable winch. We're joining some friends today in the dead of winter for a late season rabbit hunt in Essex County. Longtime friend of Rackstacker, John Jones, wanted me to join him on a property tour as well as do a rabbit hunt. So we had to take him up on this great opportunity to have some fun. We're going to check out his food plots and discuss some options for this coming fall. See, the thing is, with, with this time of year, even with lush green clover, especially this far south, they'll be pawing that up all through the winter time. Yeah, true. And, and to me, that's what I would try and focus on. Yeah. This is an awesome laneway to plant just about any crop for game animals. This is something you want to look into. When we got to this small opening, we had spotted our first rabbit of the day. In case he runs that way, yeah. So I'll go right onto the pile. You be ready, Mike. He might come back at you, or he might run open this way. He'd be great. Yeah. He's right here. There he's right there, right there. Mike, he's coming towards you. Ah. Yeah, I got him. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. This is the point when you need to be aware of your surroundings when hunting fast-moving rabbits. Mike was on a jog to the left to retrieve the rabbit I had shot. Safety is always the number one concern when hunting with friends. Oh, no. Where'd he go? I rolled him over. Over to the right, right behind that stump. Right here, Bruce. Yeah. Where? Right here. He's just one step ahead of you, right last one I played here. Yeah, I, I, but I heard branches when I got here. He's waiting there somewhere for sure because he never came out this side. Ha! Oh, he's in there. He's got to be in there. Probably pulled up dying right now. What? Ooh, that's really rough. He rolled to the gym. I see him right here. You? Yeah. Hang on. Clear to that back seat. You get him? Yeah. Okay. Take it out of the... <laughs> That's not so pretty for the camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like he can be sitting right here. It's not law to be wearing orange while hunting rabbits in Ontario. However, it's a good idea to have it. I didn't have orange at that time, but wore a red toque and stayed on the trails so that Mike and John both knew where I would be. I got him. He stopped right there. I got him. <clears throat> See him? Yeah. <laughs> That's just fun, man. Boom, boom, boom. Take it on. This is awesome. <laughs> I love rabbit hunting, man. Here's a 
Altan Safe Outdoors. You need cover for your hunt? Quick and easy ground blocks. Durable and safe tree stands. Your first front in the hunt. Get into an Altan Safe Outdoors ground blind or tree stand this fall. Visit AltanSafeOutdoors.com or find us on Facebook. Altan Safe Outdoors, your first front in the hunt. Some of this terrain that the guys were pushing through to bump those rabbits was super see, thick man. in cover and very tough to see our quarry. I want to say that the rabbits were at least 100 yards ahead of us. I've seen a flash right in front of you, Mike. Right. That was a couple minutes ago. There you go, Steve. Tell everybody what to do with their Christmas tree. I got friends of mine that put them on ponds. Make, uh, put fish. cinder blocks on them for bedding for fish. Yeah, right here. Make, make rabbit bed. I think I did. Second shot. That's awesome. Tickle, tickle. Three for three. Well, I shot about eight times. Where's the other one yet? It's on the trail back there? Yeah, yeah we put it in the corner, corner back there. Yeah. Jack is bloody. It's like the first time doing it. Russian olive then. Russian olive. Can you imagine climbing this for the ladder stand? Ow, oh, ah, oh, ah. That's where you need a husk of a pole saw to cut all the pieces off before going up. Salt beans. But so this is stacked. When did you set it? 
Um, whenever you gave me that first pack, that was when I started trying. So that was January. Yeah, so this is a brand new last year, yeah, whenever you just came out with it, so. You said the pile was bigger. No, yeah, the pile was bigger. I got that brand new. We're now headed to another property to hunt over Darius the Spaniel. But beforehand, Doug Daniels has a story to tell us about a once in a lifetime buck. I could see the body from, from my tree stand. I, it was one of the first times I let him sit in a tree stand by himself, actually. And, uh, cause he was only 15. Mm. And I was sitting in a tree stand where I could kind of keep my eye on him and see some of the deer coming towards him. And I texted him and said, dude, there's a really big buck coming your way if you want to wait. And I put my phone away and I heard, and I was like, well, I guess he's not waiting for the big deer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, there's a really big buck. His, the kid's blood trail was still in the snow when we tracked this one. Yes. Was it not? Yeah. So like two <laughs> days later. <laughs> yeah. We went back and it's like, oh, here's... Oh, so well, the young lad shot one. two days before this guy, yeah. and you went in the he, same stand? Yeah. He shot uh, December 14th, and I shot December 16th. Something like December that, yeah. December 14th. Mine is that one in the living room That's at 1.30. Awesome. Then Mark shot his first deer ever, but personal best buck, and then Doug shot this one. Mm -hmm. so. That's wicked. Such an awesome story about an incredible 200-inch whitetail. Closed captioning has been brought to you by the original portable winch. Compact, lightweight, and can be carried anywhere. Bishop Lake Outdoors is located in Cloyne, Ontario, and is the area's full-line browning gun and accessory dealer. Bishop Lake Outdoors has a large selection of guns to choose from, including muzzle loaders, rifles, shotguns and even the authorized dealer of the one and only Excalibur crossbow. That's not all, a full line of top fishing brands are also available. Stop in and see the staff at Bishop Lake Outdoors. This is outdoor country and this is help out your neighbor country. Hi, I'm Tom Wallace from Campbellford Crasler where we support homegrown Hunter TV. We believe in our local community. We're committed to our customers. We take our vehicles as seriously as you do your hunting. We're here to make you look good and get through that rough terrain. If we don't have the new or used vehicle you're looking for, we'll get it at the price that will keep you coming back. Come home to the small town dealership with a 100% satisfaction guarantee. Campbellford Chrysler, Grand Road South. Proud supporter of Homegrown Hunter TV. I think my, uh, my deer food plot is actually a rabbit food plot. Yeah? Because there's rabbits in it all the time. Yeah. Give me that hat, man. I can't see. Yeah, that's tough. You always feel like a it. kid again when you're out in the bush hanging out with friends. Rabbit hunting has truly become one of my favorite pastimes with good friends. It's that easy. They both have long ears and a white fluffy tail, so it could have been the same one. push this back, right? Because the neighbor's right there, and this is where all the rabbits are, is right in okay. here. So. Did you see the shell? I have a, uh, I have my spray license. Oh, do you? Yeah.
That was super fast and close. But get him? Oh, I got hair. <laughs> Pretty hard. Oh. Hey, Darius. Hey. Darius, I think. Oh, I got him. I got him. He's right here. You did? Yeah, I thought so. I could hear him kicking. Good boy! Good boy! I think I got that. He's going too hard. Good boy. Good boy. Darius worked his butt off for us. It was great to see him work as well. Oh yeah, big time. One last spot before we call it a day. This is a field that has what's called pit and mound. It's where they make all kinds of random holes and hills using a bulldozer to encourage native growth in the field. This basically sets back natural succession, a great spot to find rabbits. 60 came to this tree, which is 40. 40 from this stand? From that stand, I whacked him here. He actually died in a rubber tree. This was in Walking Toss. This was in Walking Toss here, yeah. Nice. And there was also a mineral. Uh, I had uh, the blue one. Glory. Glory. I had a mineral pile of glory there. Cool. <clears throat> three bucks, three best bucks out of three different guys out of one little plot. plot. Same year. Same year. Awesome. Where are we hunting now? This one. Right this way? Head north. Go. Cool. Well, today we ended up with five rabbits. It was a fantastic hunt with some good friends. Tomorrow morning we're gonna get up and go after some coyotes, so stay tuned. Huckabones Equipment in Cobden, Ontario has received multiple excellence awards for service, quality, and selection when it comes to Kubota equipment in the Ottawa Valley. From excavators, compact tractors of all needs, and lawn tractors, I personally rely on my Kubota tractor to get the job done around my farm throughout the year. Huckabones equipment goes the distance for customer satisfaction. Be sure to check out huckabones.com for a full lineup of tractors. <music>
pond doing a lot of digging, digging and a hole, stuff. trying to get underneath it. And there's Obviously. tracks everywhere in the field here. The uh, trail camera is proving it's working well and it obviously keeps the coyotes in the area so when we start calling we'll hopefully have a chance of cracking them. But I think it's a great idea. We're going to try it this year and uh, try it at a different spot ourselves. It's a great idea. The amount of geese that we had seen migrating back to Ontario was insane. I couldn't even guess at how many we seen. Not something I'm used to seeing in Eastern Ontario, that's for sure. We decided to pack it in as John had something to show me. It had turned out that we were not far from the Jack Miner Bird Sanctuary. Jack Miner was one of the first conservationists to determine migratory paths by banding birds. This all began in 1909. And while on the topic of ducks now, John had offered to give me some duck boxes that were made by the local high school, funded by their local Delta Waterfowl chapter. These duck boxes will be put up this winter to help with my local duck population. A simple yet effective way of doing my part. So what you gotta do when you put them up, is I, I usually fill it to the top of this lip with wood chips okay. in the bottom. So cool. Wood chips not sawdust. They'll stop the sawdust, they'll stop the game. <laughs> 